You guys want to talk about Joe Rogan for a moment? Like, what the hell is going on? We all know what's going on. Anybody that pays attention to Joe Rogan's podcast and has followed his career knows exactly what's going on. Cancel culture at its finest, catering to the weakest link, you know? Just, I don't know why people are so vicious. Have people always been this vicious? Like you, you have the spotlight on you and you say one thing that somebody doesn't like, they don't just say, hey, you shouldn't talk like that. That's not cool. And then a rational person will go, oh, I'm, I'm, I apologize if I offended you. It's not like that these days. These days, if you say something that somebody doesn't like, they come after you viciously. Well, who is they? They is the weak-minded buffoons that are vicious. They're evil people. They truly are evil. It, they're the type of people where if you hurt their feelings, they will not only try to get, get you to lose your job, they'll try to take your job from you, they'll viciously come after your reputation, after your job. They want to destroy you. Now, who's the worst person, you know, in that scenario? Is it the person who spoke in a way that maybe they shouldn't have? Or is it the person that can't let it go so much that they're going to just viciously try to destroy your whole life? Who's worse? Seriously, think about it. Please don't be any of those people. If, if you're one of those people, I don't even want you on my channel. I only have 404 people on my channel, but if you're one of those people that thinks that you should viciously attack somebody if they, if they speak out of turn, like there is nothing anybody should say to make you want to viciously remove them from their job and destroy their entire life. You know, like all you have to do is not log on. All you have to do is not listen. All you have to do is not follow. You don't have to destroy somebody's life. It's sick. It's a mental illness. And the people that are catering to it are mentally ill. So what are we doing here? Why are we catering to the weakest link? I know this topic is probably very polarizing, but I don't care. I don't care if it's polarizing because right is right and wrong is wrong. And if, if somebody says something... Be, you know, just because maybe it's out of ignorance. Maybe they don't even know. Maybe they're a little unaware of today's culture and they were raised around a family that talked a certain way. And then they say a certain thing, even though, like, it, you can't really define them, oh, their complete personality and their whole life off of one thing they say. But that's what people are doing because they have brittle souls. They have brittle minds. They're weak-minded buffoons that think they got it all figured out. And it's this whole entitled behavior and it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop because it's getting out of hand. Anybody that knows Joe Rogan and has followed his career knows the dude's not racist. The whole thing going on right now is about, you know, this war. It started with these so-called doctors and scientists getting together and saying Joe is spreading misinformation. He is having a discussion like, what are you even talking about? He's not a doctor that's prescribing medication saying this will cure you, this won't. He's a stand-up comedian, podcaster, um, combat sports commentator, having a discussion in his studio with other people. Yeah, a lot of people watch him and he has power of influence. But again, these are just discussions. What, what, what are we in, communist China? Like, we're not allowed to say, have discussions now. If you don't like it, if you don't agree with it, you're just going to cancel them and try to ruin their life. Is that is that the world you live in? Because it's not the world I want to live in, but it's the world that's being created around us if we keep catering to this bullcrap. Anyway, if you like the content, throw me some likes. Comment down below, tell me what you think. And um, hopefully you you're smart enough to agree with me because this is one of the few times where I'm going to tell you if you don't agree with me, you're wrong, you're weak, and you're brittle, and you're part of the problem. Anyway, if you like the content, like I said, subscribe. And freaking ring that bell. <laughs>
Thank you.